He's America working God. He's America working God. He is the Alpha and Omega. He is America working God. You know, everybody talks about, hey, I prayed this and I don't think God listened to me. I prayed this and I don't think God heard me. Let me tell you something. God always answers your prayers. Always. Especially if you're righteous. And you're only found righteous through Christ Jesus. Now, does that mean that I'm going to ask God for $10 million and get it? No. Just like a parent, he don't always give you what you want. The answers to your prayers are yes, no, or not right now. So what are you doing when you ask God for something in prayer and he tells you no? You're trusting him. Maybe he knows that if you go and get that $10 million, you're going to waste it, squander it, and maybe end up even worse. Maybe you're going to go get hooked on some kind of drug and OD. And God don't want you to finally, in the end, end up in hell because he gave you something that you, that you weren't going to handle right. He don't want you to turn your back on him and forget he exists. So trust God to, to take care of you with what you have. Now God wants you to ask him. He wants you to grow. He wants to see you grow in what you ask for. God says you have not because you ask not. There are blessings you don't get if you don't ask. But he wants you to ask because in the end, as we learned in Bible study, he wants you to put others before yourself. God wants you to start asking for him to take care of others because he's going to take care of you. God wants you to grow in your relationship. Okay, so now this morning I'm going to share Psalm 141. <laughs> Psalm 141, give ear to my voice. The Psalm of David. Oh Lord, I call upon you. Hasten me. Give ear to my voice when I call to you. Give ear to my voice when I call to you. Hey, you know what? There's a few things that can interfere with your prayers. Not being righteous. One of them. Having problems with your spouse. Not being right with your spouse. If you're not doing right with them, that can cause God to not want to hear your prayers. Because when you enter into a marriage relationship between a man and a woman, you're entering into a covenant with you and your partner and God at the head. And so if you're wrong with your spouse, you're wrong in that relationship you've entered into with God. God wants you to be right with him. So you need to be right with your partner. Okay, so it says, let my prayer be counted as incense before you and the lifting up of my hands as an ever as an evening sacrifice you know that's the kind of sacrifices that God wants today he don't want the animal sacrifices because Christ paid it all he wants your prayer to be counted as, as he would have looked as the incense he wants you to be raising your hands and giving glory to God singing Jesus loves me thank you Lord praise you Jesus anything you can like that. He wants you to give him that glory. He that, That's the kind of sacrifices we're to make now. And that's a big part of prayer. Do you realize that Jesus would often get away from all the people multiple times in Scripture, even his disciples. He would get away from them to go to be alone and to pray. And don't tell me that prayer was just God, this, 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 this. No, he was having a spiritual connection with God. And we're to do the same. It says, set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Do not let my heart incline to any evil. 
He's asking God for protection. Look, I'm a human. I mess up. I'm going to say stuff I'm not supposed to. Hey, put a guard over my mouth. Help me to speak what's right and what's true and what you want me to speak. Help me not to, to speak this evil. It says, to busy myself with wicked deeds. Does not, do not let my heart incline to any evil to busy myself with wicked deeds. He's asking him not to do that. In the company of men who work iniquity. And do not let me eat of their delicacies. Lord, keep me away from those things that harm me that look so good. Keep me away from those practices that, that everybody falls into that I can easily do. You know, things you want to ask God for. Let a righteous man strike me. It is a kindness. Let him rebuke me. It is an oil for my head. Let my head not refuse it. Yet my prayer is continually against their evil deeds. You know, hey, he's saying, Lord, let that correction and rebuke happen. Let the man who is right point out what I'm doing wrong. Too often if somebody comes out and tells us what we're doing wrong, we as a person, if we're not wanting to change or wanting to admit it, we want to put that person down and sacrifice them. Suddenly they're they're horrible and they're judging. Don't judge me, man. No. If you see a brother stumbling and you don't say a word, the Bible says it's a sin. It is a sin not to say anything. Right. It says that if you turn one away from that evil path who has been righteous, you're doing a great service. God will bless you. It says, when their judges overthrow are thrown over the cliffs, then they shall hear my words, for they are pleasant. When one plows, when one plows and breaks up the earth, so shall our bones be scattered at the mouth of Shiloh. But my eyes are towards you. O God, my Lord, in you are I Seek refuge. Leave me not defenseless. Keep me from the trap that they have laid for me, from the snares of evildoers. Let the wicked fall into their own nets while I pass by safely. He's asking God to bring him through everything. Help me stay focused on you. Stay focused on the prize. Hey, you know what? That's what we forget and lose track of as Christians. We're to stay focused on the prize. And the prize is to serve God faithfully so in the end we get to go to heaven. Let me correct that. The prize is the fact that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. We do not earn our way to heaven. Christ paid for it all. But we need to focus on that eternity. The prize is when we're done here, we get to live in eternity. And we need to keep our eyes on that. We don't need to get caught up in Hey, maybe I need to do this, or maybe I need to do that, or oh, man, you know what, that would be a nice thing to have, or oh, man, you know what, if I had all that, all that cash, it would take care of my every problem. No. It will bring more. So start to trust God today. If you haven't started a relationship with Him, it's not that hard. All you got to do is believe. Romans 10, 9 says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. It's easy to confess, but if you believe, it's going to show you. Let God work in your life today. Be blessed.